Let's get right to the news, though, and we begin with President Trump overseas. Shortly before we came on the air, the president tweeted out this picture of Air Force One after touching down in the Philippines. Before his arrival, protesters swarmed the U.S. Embassy and were repelled with water cannons. Quite a scene there. While in the Philippines, Trump is going to meet with the controversial president, Rodrigo Duterte, who is accused of ordering illegal killings in that country's drug war. Trump has told Duterte he's doing, quote, an unbelievable job on the drug problem. The upcoming meeting comes on the heels of Trump walking back comments in which he seemed to side with Vladimir Putin over America's intelligence agencies about the question of Russian Russia meddling in our elections. It also comes after President Trump ramped up his war of words with Kim Jong-un of North Korea, calling him short and fat. ABC's chief White House uh, correspondent, John Carl, is traveling with the president this morning. John, good morning to you. Good morning, Dan, and good morning, Sarah. After saying just yesterday that the president, that he thinks that Vladimir Putin truly believes it when he denies that Russia interfered in the election, today the president said that he accepts the findings of U.S. intelligence agencies which have concluded that Russia did meddle and that it was Vladimir Putin who ordered it. At a joint press conference with the president of Vietnam, President Trump was asked point blank who he believes. U.S. intelligence agencies who say Russia meddled in the 2016 election or Vladimir Putin who denies it happened. I believe that he feels that he and Russia did not meddle in the election. As to whether I believe it or not, I'm with our agencies, especially as currently constituted with their leadership. The current leadership of the U.S. intelligence agencies have said definitively that Russia did interfere and that Putin himself ordered it. The president says he accepts their findings but he wants to move on and work with Putin rather than punish him. What he believes is what he believes. What I believe is that we have to get to work, and I think everybody understood this that heard the answer. We have to get to work to solve Syria, to solve North Korea, to solve Ukraine, to solve terrorism. And, you know, people don't realize Russia has been very, very heavily sanctioned. Just yesterday on Air Force One, the president said he briefly discussed election meddling with Putin yesterday at a multination summit here in Vietnam. Every time he sees me, he says, I didn't do that, the president said, and I really believe that when he tells me that, he means it. That didn't sit well with Senator John McCain, who responded, quote, there's nothing America first about taking the word of a KGB colonel over that of the American intelligence community. On Twitter, the president defended his comments. When will all the haters and fools out there realize that having a good relationship with Russia is a good thing, not a bad thing? From here in Vietnam, the president also tweeted about North Korea, taunting dictator Kim Jong-un, saying, why would Kim Jong-un insult me by calling me old when I would never call him short and fat? Oh well, I try so hard to be his friend and maybe someday that will happen. The president was asked if he really meant that. Could he become, quote, a friend of Kim Jong-un? That might be a strange thing to happen, but it's certainly a possibility. If that did happen, it would be a good thing for, I can tell you, for North Korea. But it would also be good for lots of other places, and it would be good for the world. So uh, certainly it is something that could happen. I don't know that it will, but it would be very, very nice if it did. The president also had some choice words for those who were the top three intelligence officials when he became president, calling the former heads of the FBI, the DNI, and the CIA, quote, political hacks. Now, these are individuals who have long careers in national security and have served both Democratic and Republican administrations. Sarah, Dan. Thank you, John.